Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine. So it's been a few months <laughs> since I last did anything with this channel. Um, there's just been so much that's been happening this year and I fell into a pretty big uh, reading slump. I only read two books so far this whole year, which is pretty unusual for me. A lot of new things have been happening internally and externally and um, that kind of like took priority over reading and honestly I was just not in the mood to read. I won't make any more excuses as to why I didn't film video um, but I do kind of want to do a little bit of an update so I'm gonna talk about the two books that I have read and then I'll go over all the books that I have uh, physically that I have not yet read <laughs> which is quite a stack so we'll get into it. The first book that I finished this year is The Dark Days Pact by Alison Goodman and yep there's a lot of reflection on this shiny cover. This is the second book in the Lady, Lady Helen series and the first book I believe is Dark Days Club. This whole series I'm so over it. I just got tired reading the second book. And to be honest, it's kind of boring to me, so it's really hard to keep my interest. Um, I felt like the characters were kind of bland, like the main character, Lady Helen, I didn't really find her exciting or intriguing. I just felt like she was kind of a bland character. Her romance with the main lead, um, Lord Carlston, it's like a slow burn, simmering type of romance chemistry that they're having, which is great, but it really just felt so mundane <laughs> and boring. I'm happy to have finished the second book and eventually I'll get to the third book and just finish off the whole series. The star rating I would give this book is like a two and a half stars. The second book that I finished this year is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So I finally got to this book because um, I've been wanting to for a while, especially after reading The Hate You Give. I completely fell in love with Angie Thomas's writing style. It's so captivating and it keeps your interest and it keeps you flipping the pages. So you're never really bored with the way she writes. It was a really good book. Four stars. Um, I definitely love The Hate You Give more than this book but nonetheless it is still a really good book. Really really entertaining but also hits some very deep topics. So this book I would say everyone should read it. It keeps you on your toes and just like uh, um, for The Hate You Give, I kept flipping through the pages. I just could not stop. So yeah, this is great. And I can't wait till I read um, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, uh, which is the prequel to The Hate You Give. So I'm excited to get to more Angie Thomas writing because she's brilliant. She's great. So now I'll get into the books that I have yet to read and I'll eventually get into. I'm starting off with the whole Twilight series. Oh my gosh. They're not in the right order. Yeah, these I got from a used bookstore. I just saw it and decided, hey, why not give it a try? I read the first Twilight book back in 2008 and I really did not like it as much. Um, so I did not read the rest of the books, but I know now there's a lot of discussion happening around Stephanie Meyer and a lot of criticism about her work and um, her portrayal and descriptions of the indigenous tribe um, in her books and so I kind of well, I do want to revisit the first book and finish the series to kind of read it from more of a critical lens. I feel like if I read it as a teenager then I would be seeing it as more of like an entertaining read but now that I'm an adult uh, I kind of want to read it in a more critical manner. So after that um, I have basically all the books in, oh my god, the Lunar Chronicles <laughs> series. I've been wanting to read the Lunar Chronicles for a while now. Now that I'm kind of getting back into my reading groove, slowly but surely, I think I'll be able to um, get to it eventually. I have the last three books in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I started reading the Mortal Instruments series way back when, like years ago. I think I was in high school or beginning of college, I don't remember. But um, I kind of just, that's kind of around the time where I fell off reading, so I never continued it. But I know that Cassandra Clare has so many, so many books that are coming out in the Shadow World universe. 
um, and so many different series of books as well. So I want to read them, you know, eventually get to them. So I decided to just finish off the first series, the original OG Mortal Instrument series, so I can get to the other ones. Next I have is The Dark Days Deceit by Alison Goodman. This is the third and final book in the Helen, Lady Helen series, trilogy, whatever, and I'm excited to get, the, get to this so I can just finish off the series. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm just over it and I just want to finish it. Then I have The Night Country by Melissa Albert. Um, this is the sequel to The Hazelwood, which I read last year and absolutely disliked. I was not a fan. I did not like the main character. I hate to say this, but I feel like when I do eventually get to this book, I'm going to go in with that mindset of already not liking this book, which I really don't want. I don't want to have any sort of predisposition when I'm reading any book, like I just want to go in with a clean mindset, but I did not like the first book. I have a feeling I might not like this book, but I'm going to read it anyway just so I can finish the series. Then I have The Lightest Object in the Universe by Kim. I seal, Isel, a seal, e seal. I'm sorry. I just me and names. I just can't. But I picked this book up one day when I went to a local discount bookstore. Then I have Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton, which I picked up at Target. Then I have The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosini. <laughs> Khaled Hosini or Khalid Hosini. I'm sorry. I. I butchered it. I apologize because he is a very well-known author. Ooh, that got dark. Uh, he is a very well-known author, so I apologize for butchering the name, but uh, yeah, this one I am very nervous and anxious to get to eventually because um, I hear it's very emotional and traumatic. I am excited to read this because I do hear it's like a piece of art. And then I got The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Um, I would like to read this more towards the end of the year, you know, spooky season. I just hear that it's kind of like a thriller, mystery, murder, mystery type of situation, and I feel like that's really nice to read in the month of October. And then I have Universal, A Guide to the Cosmos, and this is by Brian Cox and Jeff Forshaw. As you guys probably know, I have a huge love for astronomy, astrophysics, theoretical physics, all of it. Anything that has to do with our universe, I am in love. I'm excited to um, get to this too and excited to get to many more nonfiction books about our universe. And then I have another trilogy that I picked up recently and that is the Nevermore trilogy and this is by Kelly Craig. I'm excited because these books are centered around Edgar Allan Poe and his poetry so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how they, that into it. Then I have the first two books in the Blood and Ash series from Blood and Ash or Blood and Ash series and this is by Jennifer L. Armentrout so these are the first two books and I hear that the third book is out so I should probably get to these so I can get to the third book too. Then I have another book that I picked up recently The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, yeah super late to the bandwagon because again another book that everyone has read already I just hear such good things about this book I hear it's very emotional entertaining all of it so I cannot wait to like eventually read it and then I also have the friend zone friend zone by Abby Jimenez uh, she also wrote another book and I totally ugh, I forgot what the book was called but I remember really liking it because it involves a dog a golden retriever I think <laughs> but a cute dog I liked her reading uh, her writing style in that book so I'm excited to get to this one and last but not least I have where the forest meets the stars and this is by Glendy Vandera um, this is totally random I just read the synopsis and it captivated me <laughs> it has the word stars in it and that's usually enough for me to um, pick up the book. Alright guys, so that's all I have for today. So as you can see, I do have a lot of books I have not picked up yet. If you've read any of those books that I uh, showed that I haven't read, let me know what you think about them. Leave them below. Leave your review below in the comments. And that, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's so nice to film another YouTube video. I do kind of miss the whole process. Please, please be safe. Please take care of yourself and everyone else, and I'll see you next time. Bye!